Okay, so once I attach the one, I'm going to do the opposite one across from it, like that. So I move it again, seven feet of sinew, one and a half for the length of my arms. I'll cut it, fold it over, take the end that's folded, put it through the top, the left hand side of that pair of holes, the right hand side up through the bottom, making that circle, across the hoop to the one on the right hand side, I go through the top of that, and then up through the bottom on the one on the left hand side. I open it up, and I'll take the other end and put it through that opening. And now I can pull it across. Now I can see I'm going to have to pull it too tight. This is a trick here, and this is what I can't really show on the video, is how tight to make that. I make it tight without making it crazy tight. But I can move it so that when I pull it tight, I'm going to end up in the center of the, the drum. I pinch it off so it doesn't move, and then I make two half hitches. One, it's not going to move at this point. Two, then I open it up, and just, just to keep everything in place, do a regular shoelace kind of knot. And then I can cut it, not too close, I leave a little bit out, like that. Okay, now at this point, as I said, I can clean it up. Okay, now I'm going to go in the center here and do the same thing. So I'll switch it there. I've already cut the artificial sinew, I folded it. The folded end goes through the top of the one on the left. We're going to make a circle, and then it comes up through the bottom on the one of the right. Then it goes across the drum, and the hole on the left, and I'm the two holes directly across from the one that we started, the one on the left, I'm going to go through the top, the one on the right, I'm going to go through the bottom, completing that circle. And then at this point, we want to open it up and bring the other end across and through that opening. And then we can pull it tight. Okay, I can hold the drum down as I'm pulling it tight, and we want to end up in the center. Right now I can see that I'm going to have to pull it a bit too tight. If you really pull it too tight, there's a risk that you could rip those eyelets. Um, so I'm going to bring it back a bit. You want it tight, but not, as I said, crazy tight. So I want to end up in the center. Once I'm in the center, I can pinch it off and do a half hitch. Now that half hitch is kind of like making a D, going all around the skin and through it, and I slide up on it like that, and then just to tie it off just to keep everything from slipping. Now with a well cured skin, you can actually pull that quite tight without it ripping. Okay, now we're gonna go to the halfway point, so we're gonna do that fourth one. So I turn the drum like that, and I'm gonna do this one here. This will be the fourth one. Again, I'll get my sinew seven feet or one and a half lengths. Cut it, it's like drumming, a lot of repetition. Fold it on the left hand side through the top, on the right hand side through the bottom or the one away from me, across the drum, through the top on the left, bottom on the right, open it up, insert the other end through. Now, as I can see, as you can see, I'm actually going to be past it, so I've got to bring it back a little bit, so when I tighten it up, I usually hold the frame down as I tighten it up, it'll end up in the center, like that. Pinch it so it doesn't move, and that half hitch. And I'll show you the half hitch again, I make kind of a D, I go around, back into itself, and I slide up, that way it won't go past where I've tied it off. At this point, I'm actually going to bring these together, so I'm going to make another half hitch just to tie those together. And you always do a double half hitch. I'm going to bring those together, as I said, so I do a double half hitch. I did one, and now I'll tie it off again and do that second half hitch, and again, a shoelace knot 
just to kind of keep everything in place. So we're halfway through now attaching the skin to the membrane. Um, as I said, my approach is quite practical. I'm going to clean up these ends here. Now, some people actually use the membrane that it covers over top of the drum. I like to have it so it doesn't cover any of the opening. There's pros and cons to both approaches. And now we're just going to continue. We have four more to go in between each of these uh, sections.